our eyes were set on Olympic gold. To be Olympic champions, first U.S. women's team ever, and the youngest Olympic champion, we did something monumental and magnificent in history, and that changed our lives forever. I always imagined that after the Olympics, I would be done. Part of me was like, but I don't want to let it go. After I do a bar dismount, I felt my knee tweak. That forced me into retirement. What am I going to do with my life now? What's next? I'm here coaching Julie Fouché, a CrossFit athlete that we've embraced over the last year and a half. This is going to be your fastest one. Go. I'm really, really excited about a new business venture that I've started. It's really a dream just coming to life. Anything is possible. <laughs> we can do anything. This is just a dedication to our careers. Everybody remembers the Wheaties box. I'm a 90s chick. 90s gymnastics is awesome. Today we are here to watch Vincent's third competition of his season. Let's go, Vince! 8.6. Whether, you know, I'm 100 or 30, gymnastics will always be a part of me. I definitely do feel that I'm at peace with my career. I've been also able to help so many kids through gymnastics and mentor them, give them advice. You will find that you will be much more successful when you have that attitude of excellence, an attitude of compassion. Those kinds of things are the best way that I can impact the next generation.